Here's the uh, the new setup. I'm up here. I've got no power, and I'm about 200 feet away from the house. But here's the advantage of working up here. It's raining out there right now. I've got a roof over my head here. So, and I've got a concrete floor here. Uh, broke up into chunks, but uh, concrete nonetheless. So, I will be working uh, up here. And uh, let's get started. Continue on with the leaf spring knife. This is why people get power hammers. I need to draw it out more. I'm looking for 10 inches. <clears throat> with about an inch wide at about no more than a quarter thick. And uh, yeah, I've clearly got a bunch more pounding to do. Getting there, getting there. Got a little bit of an arch to it. It's a lot of work. A lot of work, I tell you. Mm. And how much of this should I forge? And how much should be stock removal later? I am not a forging expert, that's for dang sure. I kind of wanted to start the bevels out by forging them. Um, but man, I don't know. I'm not real confident. In the future, I am going to uh, cut the metal off the leaf spring differently <laughs> so it doesn't take so many heats to get it kind of close to the shape you want it. This is uh, a lot of work and I'm using a lot of fuel, but live and learn. Yeah, I don't think I want to go much thinner than that. Got to leave room for the grinder to eat something. And then I kind of want to put a curve in one side, kind of a little bit of a clip point in the other. Ah, we'll see. See here now. So I think I kind of want to. What do I do? I bring the ball peen and then I don't even use it. Uh, man, I don't know. Never done a. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be better off grinding this in. I think the curve will naturally happen when I try to bevel the sides. If I just get that kind of clip pointish thing in here. Oh, waste of fuel, trying to figure it out. Oh, the drama. Which I think I need to actually be hitting this side. We're kind of, kind of getting there, sorta ish. Eh, I don't know. Big fuel waste. The problem is, I think, I think, when I start the bevel on this side, which is the primary edge. I think it's going to curve this tip this way, and this whole clip point I'm making is probably going to be for no reason anyway. I don't know. We'll see.
Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm just going to try putting my first bevel in for the next heat. See what happens. I'm going to try to bevel this side approximately five inches back. Um, never done it before. Uh, I honestly do not know how this is going to go, but then again, this is the story of my life. Wow, that's putting way more curve to that blade than I thought it was going to. Um, I'm not going to be able to keep this. I'm not going to be able to keep it straight. Um, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah. I don't think this is working out all that great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep the clear line, the clean lines that I think is more of a K-bar style knife uh, if I forge this out. So I got to rethink this. Um, yeah, I think I just need to make uh, get this stock down to what it needs to be and then uh, leave it at that. big question is, is how I'm thinking right around there. Yay. That almost hit me in the face. Oh. Wow. I don't think the camera will show up. It's too low, but that thing almost hit me in the face. Hanking a tang isn't as easy as you'd think. Smithing skills come in handy. Man, that tank is wide. I actually want to be slightly closer to one side than the other, but uh, it's actually a little more centered than I had intended for. Not really going the way I want it. I wanted it to favor one side, and it seems to be heading straight for the middle. Um, and really, I needed it to favor this side because it's a spine side. Okay, well, that was really a hot cut. I think I want to just straighten it up and, and then deal with it as is. Whew.
Okay, so I've done, you know, this kind of grind before. So, uh, you know, I used a 2x4 with a slight angle on it as a stabilizer. Kind of like a jig, because I've got a bad back. But, so that bevel's good. Or at least started well. Hopefully I didn't get too thin right there so it's going to warp again. But, there's supposed to be a bevel here and here. And I'm really not sure how I'm going to go about that. We shall see. hardened up. Nah, that's definitely biting. I might think I'm going to have to do a water quench. You know, this was something I was extremely concerned about coming into this, keeping this thing straight um, after peening it and getting that finish. And man, keeping it straight and getting it hardened is really kicking my butt. temper line too. I think I did, but I think it went further up than I was wanting it to. Um, whew. Did it bow. Yes, it did. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> it, dang. Well, let's try this again. I don't know what to do. I don't have a vice up here. I, I don't know. Sure, one more time. differential hardening anyway. I want the edge harder than the spine. So, maybe this will keep it from warping and give me the slight temper line that I'm looking for. Oh, that definitely warped the edge a little. A little bit. Fine now. Feels like it hardened. Also, it seems reasonably straight. 